This is the Boeing one month overview reading for November 2022. It's currently October 16th, 2022, 5 11 p.m. Eastern Time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, the overall theme and behavior we have a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one month chart, followed by a decline through key support on a one month chart that's crossed with a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one month chart that, that technicals have set us up to expect to break through. Instead, we de turn around and we decline through key support yet again. Um, and it would make sense that we would, we would fail to break through resistance once and decline through support, or maybe we decline to support, and then we, we set up to establish support there, come back up, and it would look like we were going to break through uh, that price level uh, the second time we, break, we attempted. But... Instead, we were disappointed it turns around and declines through key support. So that's likely what happens. We'll look at it a little closer. And there's also Unicursal in this month, um, correlations to the Unicursal card, a notable drop on the scale of a one month chart at least. Um, so that's important to, to uh, be aware of as well. Um, behavior around the high, we have a notable uh, move to the upside on a one month chart. Um, and it'll be like irrational, almost irrational move higher to reach for a distant resistance level. And that, that distant resistance level will be the high for the month. I'm sorry, guys. Um, behavior out of the low, we have, uh, we have a, a breakout that'll be, it'll be notable on a one month chart at least there'll be a breakout out of the low and the high and the low are also within close proximity to each other on uh, on the timeline uh so on the scale of a one month chart that's somewhere within like a week's time usually it's around three days but within a week's time um usually uh guys before we get into the details of each individual day and the highs and the lows uh, please take a moment and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. If you have done so, there's plenty of ways that you can help support the channel. We do need your support. Um, check out the links in the description below. There's a ton of different ways. You could sign up for Weeball. You could, I mean, the best way, guys, really the best way to, to support the channel right now would be to, to get a recurring uh, monthly. So, like, if there's a stock that you want to guarantee you'll get every single month, you can pay a monthly fee and that that'll come out to you a week ahead of or actually three weeks ahead of everybody else being able to see that information um and it'll also guarantee that it comes out there's people that that have been doing that like with the silver one for instance um that's why that comes out on the 15th of every month because somebody's somebody's actually paying for that information so they get it ahead of everybody um all right guys so uh, on the first, okay, so we, we hopefully we bought some protection at the end of October. Um, there's a notable move higher on a one month chart. It would stand out on the first. On the second, there's a price level in the midst of some volatility. There's a price level that offers an opportunity to open up a, uh, a position in both directions to play volatility. There's two trade opportunities on the second. Um, one involving selling near selling from a crest that's near overbought. Uh, the other trade opportunity involves an intentional fake out, shake out, or a, a, like a false indicate uh, indicators triggered. Um, on the third, we have the same thing: a fake out or a shake out, um, false indication of uh, technical indicators triggered. Um, you know, uh, that that also is another trade opportunity on the third. So it may be something that takes place overnight, or maybe two separate trade opportunities but on the third we attempt to establish or re-establish support um looks like there's a and that's to the establish support so we attempt to establish support to the downside um and then on the fourth there's a, what appears to be like a little bit of a crest for the month there um, or at least a high for the day on the 4th, and then we, we fall pretty sharply um, into the end of the day. Um, we have a prominent trough there uh, at the end of the day, and we're talking about on a month scale. Um, that, this decline here also offers an opportunity to op open up a, a long position. Um, there's a trade opportunity on the 7th, a swing trade opportunity involving Congress, or um, some, there's usually like a holding pattern associated with it, but it's probably Congress or it's a leader that somehow highlighted that, but not like a, not like the most obvious leader would be like a less common leader. Um, 
and that they're involved in the trade opportunities somehow. And, and on the seventh, there's a lot of volatility, but a fast sudden move marking the end of that period of volatility. That fast sudden move higher. Um, there's two things that can happen here on the seventh or eighth. Either there's a fast sudden move higher at the end of the day on the seventh, marking the end of a period of uh, volatility. And then from that, that fast soon move higher, there's uh, an opportunity to position oneself for a sharp drop overnight and a big move higher following day on the 8th again. That's one possibility. The other possibility would be that we have volatility throughout the day of the 7th. We have a fast sun move higher on the 8th, marking the end of that period of volatility from the 7th. Um, and that takes us to a uh, prominent crest or high for the month on the, at the end of the 8th or early on the 9th. Um, and then that's a, that's a price level from which we will fall pretty hard. There's a fake out on the 7th as well, it would appear. And this is on the scale of a one month chart. On the 9th, we likely come out of a high uh, early on the 9th, or we move higher through resistance followed by a decline through key support on the scale of a, of a one month chart. Um, on the 10th, we have... Oh, excuse me, let me back up. On the 2nd, we have that failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one month chart followed by a decline through key support. So there's that bit of vol volatility or like price action that allows for us to position in both directions. But that also means that uh, this this high over here, likely on the 8th, um, is going to be a higher high than whatever we see as a crest here on the 3rd. So there's like a lot of price movement, uh, price action back and forth going on here between the 4th, the 7th, and the 8th. Um, and then on the 10th, actually on the 4th, it looks like we attempt to break through that resistance one more time failed to but it, it, we were we were set up technically to, to break through it that's probably what this devil's uh, fake out energy is that's the trade opportunity um because i'm seeing devil energy over here on the seventh as well so it's kind of like an over the weekend type of opportunity that we set ourselves up for here on the on the second right um Yeah, because there's likely a sharp drop here somewhere on the, at the 7th or the 8th. Um, and then on the 10th, we have another attempt to break through key resistance followed by a decline through key support. There's a sharp decline there. Um, I'm advised to heed contrarian information. In other words, information that maybe I don't want to heed because I think I know I'm right. I need to be mindful of that energy um, on the 10th. Because there's a notable opportunity there, like a really lucky opportunity there on the 8th. Um, that opportunity is uh, to the upside. Yeah, um, and then um, a drop to like a cr uh, trough on the end of the, the day on the 10th, followed by another high or uh, or crest for the month on the 11th. I'm advised to be cautious on the 11th. 11th multiple failed, failed or excuse me, multiple false bottoms. Um, we move we move higher significantly. Um, hit a high at the end of the day. Um, through a big price movement and then there's a turnaround like it looks like we're going to go higher but instead we turn around and we fall pretty hard and that may take place over the weekend um, on the 14th on the 14th we have a significant support level marking an opportunity to cash in on a short investment it looks like or a short position um, there's a notable decline we have the universal hexagram correlations here as well just like we did on the 7th um, we have it here on the 14th and the 15th there's two trade opportunities on the 14th, one involving um, a holding pattern with a spike up and then back down, and the other one in, uh, trade opportunity uh, involving successfully turning resistance in a one-day chart into new support. But there's a notable decline here on the 14th. Um, an agreement or a merger of some kind, an uh, agreement between two leaders or a merger of some kind is highlighted on the 15th. Matter of fact, the news may come out here. The news may come out here around the 7th or the 8th that there's something going on here on the 15th. Um, any case, there's uh, a 
rally that ends with a fast sudden move higher mark, and then a, a breakdown through a diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down that takes place on the 15th as well. On the 16th, three failed attempts to break through key resistance followed by a decline off of that third failed attempt. On the 17th, we have three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level confirming a bullish trend and then we have sideways rotation along a key support level on the 18th that ends with a fast sudden move to the upside um, and, a, and a prominent crest or high for the month. There's a decline over the weekend or, or into the end of the day on the 8th. I think we probably have the low early, like we've had the low for the month on the 4th. The low's in the first two weeks, it looks like, um, but we may have another significant thing going on here, so let's get into it. But I'm picking up on a low early in, early in the month, um, and then there's that opportunity there in the midst of a decline, open up a long position, um, but quite a bit going on back and forth, guys. Um, there's a trough and a month trough and crest here on the uh, 21st. Um, yeah, we, we failed to break through key resistance um, on the on the 21st, and it's key, and technicals would have us it would lead us to believe that we are going to break through, but instead we decline pretty sharply into a month's trough. There, there's two swing trade opportunities on the 22nd. A lot of price movement, a lot of price movement. Um, to the upside, it looks like possibly to revisit that. A lot of price movement up, and then a lot of price movement back down on the 22nd. And we have a failed, uh, we have a decline to and through a support level. Meet a secondary support. We rotate sideways along that support. The two swing trade opportunities on the 22nd. Um, one of them involves a holding pattern of the, with like kind of like a pop and then back down, a pop and drop. Um, and then the other uh, trade opportunity involves successfully turning resistance into new support on a one-day chart. On the 23rd, uh, failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one-month chart, followed by a decline through key support on a one-month chart. Um, there's a critical technical price level highlighted there on the 23rd, and I'm advised to um, place a trade towards the end of the day. It looks like for a short position. Um, we have the 24th off, the 25th, we have half a day, and it looks like sideways fluctuations with a bullish trend preceding a decline. On the 28th, I think we likely have a pretty sharp drop over the weekend. Um, we open really low on the 28th and shoot higher, um, even in the face of seemingly overwhelming headwinds. And there's likely a month's low there, um, but there's definitely a significant trough there on the 28th. Um, and also, we come out of that, that trough um, on the 29th, it looks like we probably hit um, uh, like a new near-term uh, high there as well. So like maybe not the full month high, but another significant significant crest that would stand out. So a lot of price movement there on the 29th. Uh, uh, important price level, resistance level highlighted on the 30th, and it looks like a rally early in the day is, is also something that uh, commences on the 30th. Um, the, there's cash out opportunity. Um, cash out opportunity probably to the long side uh, so like uh, the bullish positions that I opened uh, that I would have opened this month in November um, looks like there's probably a cash out opportunity there uh, well there's a cash there's two trade opportunities there one involving uh, a holding pattern and another one involving successfully turning resistance into new support um, yeah, but there looks like there's a pretty good trade there on the 22nd, or maybe it's even the 21st in the midst of a decline. To open up a long position, that long position I would sell probably next month. Or if we opened up higher on the 22nd, but unlikely, there is a lot of price movement there on the 22nd. Um, but I would still be holding, a sh I think, probably a short position. It's interesting. This is this is really kind of like uh, difficult to interpret. When, when I look at the one month for the S&P, we have kind of like a higher crest here. 
after a low early in the week, there's a high and a crest towards the end of the week. And we do have high correlator here on the 29th as well as low correlator. So there's quite a bit of movement going on back and forth here on the 30th. Um, overall trend behavior uh, is to the downside, my friends, um, just to be clear. Um, and that's Boeing for the, the month of November 2022, my friends. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, most importantly. Uh, make sure you're following that rule of karma, guys. There's great, uh, plenty of ways to support the channel. Just check out one of the links in the description below. Much appreciated for your, all your support, guys. We'll continue to put out as many videos as we can. Um, see you on the next one, guys.